Ciao. Oh, Lord. Where, where do we go from here? Well, I've avoided it for as long as I can, but I guess I have to look at love and hip-hop tri-state. Jersey. Because this is not Manhattan. Not even Queens. It's going to be a real fast-forward episode because this is that wedding shit. So, because of the little dust up at the bachelor party, now Safari said, I'm not doing that shit on Monday, and he gonna go to Yandy for support, or whoever the hell this is. So, Erica was disrespected that Rich showed up to Safari's bachelor party, and now Safari was disrespected by Erica's harpies. So, you're both disrespectful and emotionally unintelligent. Move on. Oh, you can't. You fucked up by having a baby with her. Oh, God, and he's going to Yandy for marital advice. One, Yandy isn't even legally married. Two, when did Yandy spend time as a married woman with her husband? The 10 minutes before he went into prison or during the conjugal visits? Child, so Safari just start talking to himself and walk out of Yandy's, and Yandy's like, well, marriage is shitty. That is not Remy and Pap's apartment. They do not have that kind of money. Oh, God. Now Arab Kamena over here picking Remy's brain for advice. I don't know. That brain might have been picked clean. Oh, this is an Airbnb. I could tell by the furniture. Staged. Maybe it's a rental. A staged rental. But they don't live here. Remy. If you're going to wear a lace front, I'm, I'm going to need all this to be... Ooh, you should have put a hat on. Damn. Did you get in a fight? God, she is still whining about Rich and her damn musical relationship and him yelling at her, but then you yell at him because you're both toxic and non-communicative. Oh, God. That top lip is so swollen, Erica. I, why do you always want to look botched? You're turning into Miss Piggy in front of our very eyes. Okay, now we're getting to the real. She married him because he's non-confrontational. And all she's talking about is what he's supposed to do for her. He wasn't thinking of me. He's supposed to protect me. He's supposed to... Well, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Sit there like a bump on a stump? Or in your case, a bump on your lip? Oh, Lord. What does broke Kim Bella have to say? Oh, God, we got to do a prison call. Kim Bella's like, uh, I'm going to need you to release some of that music because I have five mouths to feed and we don't even have a roof over our heads. Homeless for the holidays. Okay, y'all acted like he had a choice to give his blessing. Please, he going to come out more homeless than he went in. So she going to sell his little shitty singles. I hope somebody buys them. Okay, we can fast forward through this wedding montage and Erica speaking because who wants to hear that? And then why rush and get married pregnant? I mean, you already got a baby out of wedlock. The jig is up. Oh, to Harry's here, but I don't want to hear what she has to say. Now, Safari, that fur for the motorcycle was important because it was probably cold as fuck. Uh-huh, just on a fast forward. Oh, Wednesday should be the mid-season finale for, um, girlfriends or sisters. I'm sorry. So maybe we did see the mid-season finale because this is an old love and hip-hop. We got to get caught up. Oh, Jesus. But now Safari, who is so angry, is in great spirits and ready to get married in tacky-ass Jersey. There's parts of Jersey that are nice, but not this part. Ugh. Oh, those gaudy rings. Yeah, family shit, fast forward. I, I did not need this. Did you need this? I didn't need this. Oh, now we got Jimmy home in the new house. What new house did they give you? Because we sure know they snatched one from you. Maybe you should say the new rental. The new rental. Because your house is anything but a home. You give me a dwelling tea because you're always getting put out of dwellings. The way he calls her bro gives me a uh, daddy, and, daddy and buddy tea. Child, this fool is high as hell. Jim is on here zooted and booted. Honey, if you want to keep your house clean with Jim Jones, you better hire somebody. 
Oh my God. He said, well, look, if I've got to be clean, you got to get out of them comfortable pajamas. What is she supposed to wear? Uncomfortable pajamas? Oh God. Jim, if you're going to be on the show, you can't be this high where I... Jesus. Fast forward, they talking about supporting Kim Bella. And that's just because they both going to share the same two bedroom. And now we've got to fast forward through a wedding. See Joe talking to Tahari and I don't need to hear that. Oh, jeez. So now Tahari is mad at Jonathan for calling her a pawn in Erica's plan. But girl, he was right. You're a pawn. You're a pawn. You're a pawn. I mean, he, he got that right, but he got that makeup wrong. So Tahari calls Daniel a wedding crasher, and he's like, uh, no, I'm here with Yandy. You're still a plus one. So now Joe gets mad at the both of them, and he's like, well, mind your fucking business. Uh, keep your business out the street. You can mind it yourself. Oh, Jesus Christ, now we got Joe talking in his slow voice, trying to be the adult in the room. Oh, oh, I can't stand these people who just found mental health. Child, I, nobody cares about the Erica trying to cook him up with Tahari again. Tahari, your dress looks like it went through a shredder. God, Daniel, you are doing too much for a situation that is too little. Any, anything you could do to have a moment. Oh, God, Carly Red and Sierra showed up. The fuck? Why did Mona fly them in? Because they don't have enough money to get here on their own. She brought them here just to embarrass them. Oh, God, that houndstooth dress. You wore a houndstooth dress to a wedding? That's like wearing black to a wedding. Oh, God. The tacky, the tacky fucking boo. Actually, Sierra, I'm with you. If you don't drink tonic water, you really don't like it. So it's like you just got every sip. Okay, we can fast forward through the actual wedding procession. God, everybody walking down so damn fast. They like, let's get this shit over with. They just boom, 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 boom. You're supposed to walk and rock and it's supposed to be a whole child. They don't know nothing about the class that you need to do that with. Then you gonna have kids but blur their faces. It, it, it's necessary. You don't need them. Oh, Lord, Safari tearing up. Oh, okay, yep, fast, fast forward. Yandy congratulating Safari. I mean, I'd give my condolences in a moment like that, but ugh. This was rough to get through, even with a high fast forward. Well, Yandy and Kimbella, I guess, weren't invited. They're hanging out with um the homeless one with the mole. I think that's what I'm going to call Chrissy from now on, the homeless one with the mole. And Kim Bella's like, hey, uh, since we putting some of Jules' music out, could we get Jimmy the Bomb on the track? Because that's what he is, the bum. I mean, look like a, just a bum, a vagabond, a hobo, a hobo. And Christy was like, I'm sorry. And the homeless one with the mole was like, I can't really say no and... I'm about, I just got homeless for the holidays myself, so I know you got to come up with your half, and I got to come up with mine, so I guess since these are the only resources we have, our husband's music, it's all we can use. So I begrudgingly give you my blessing. Chrissy, where did you scrounge up $20 and, an, and a fresh envelope to give to put on Jules' books? And Juju sitting there like, he ain't getting shit from me, child. Juju hasn't said anything all season. Child. Kim was happy. She was like, look, even if it's $5 in here, I, I could go to McDonald's. Oh, Jesus. So the episode ends with Erica Mena getting harassed by Sorry Red and the cheek implants known as Sierra. Why weren't they on the list? Honey, whose list are you on? You ain't even on the C list or the D list. You're not important enough to be on a shit list. God, I mean, you can't even drink at your own wedding, Erica. Ah, uh, all right. Well, that was the shit. Thank God that's over. Let's get to this week's. Sure, it's just as bad. Oh, God, I have another episode of Black Ink Crew Chicago. I guess I'll do that. Get a little variety. 
Oh, God, we didn't see Fresher all last episode, and I didn't realize how much that let me enjoy the show. We gotta talk about the you, 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 you. We gotta talk about the unit, about the unit. We gotta address what the hell's on your head. Say it again. We got to address what the hell is on your head. One more time. What the fuck is that? Is it a welcome mat? Is that a dead cat? We gotta talk about the unit. Yeah. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It looks like a pump, show bump. It looks like a pump, show bump. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It's just, it's been in my head for years. I, I figured I'd do something with it today. I, I had a few moments. From the streets of New York all the way out to Vegas It doesn't matter if you're rich or if you're famous Because you can't get someone pregnant in the anus No, you can't get someone pregnant in the anus Yeah, yeah. Backpedal and pussy pop Backpedal and pussy pop. I want you to be, 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 beat my ass. Be my ass. I want you to be my ass. I want you to put fist to the face. Fist to the face. I want you to whoop. I want you to kick. I want you to be my ass. I want you to be. My ass. I want you to be 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 my ass. I want you to be 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 my ass. I want you to be my ass. Okay, she got a hit with that one. Oh wait, no, that was me. That was me. Anyway, it don't matter. So as my mug say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.